In this video, we are going to talk about data highlighter, which essentially is an alternative to structured data markups. So if you are not technical, instead of struggling to add schema code on your website, you can use data highlighter to achieve the same thing. And as you can see, Google provides a video and also a bit of explanation down here about it. So it's a very simple tool. And all you have to do is click on start highlighting and provide a typical page of your site. So I'm going to use digital ready marketing, uh, one of the blog posts. So I click on blog, this is a, a blog post archives and I'm gonna, going to click on one of these pages and copy and paste the URL. And you can choose uh, what kind of information this page provides and it's an article and you can tag uh, pages like other pages like this page or you can just tag this page and I'm going to choose uh, others like it also so I'm going to click OK and what will happen is that Google will go crawl the page and provide you with an interface where you can highlight a section of your site to tell Google exactly what it is. So let's start with title. So this is a title. I'm going to highlight this. And I'm going to say it's a title. And then you can see uh, Google will save that information. And I'm going to say, OK, so this is the date they published. You can also have advanced if it's split into a multiple section. So in this case, I'm just going to date. And if your website, if your blog post or article uh, has an image and it always starts at the front, at the beginning, you can also say, okay, this is an image. So Google will understand, okay, so there's always an image at the top and then uh, the first one and that that's an image and then there's a category here okay and if there's a rating you can obviously add rating and in fact you can down here score best possible votes so those are the basic uh, items for an article and now I'm done so I'm going to say done. So Google will automatically detect similar pages, as you can see here. And I can check and see if they are indeed the same kind of pages, as you can see. And these are blog pages. So that's fine. And if you prefer, you can enter a specific URL or folder path and add your own pages page set so in this case i'm just going to go with this and what i'm going to say okay create page set so now google will ask you to highlight more examples because uh, google needs to make sure that you know you understand understood uh, what you highlighted and you just repeat the process for a few more pages and once google determines that he understood completely with confidence so to speak then it will just ask you to review and publish it and that's the entire process and then you can repeat the same process with different kinds of pages if you have them so that's what data highlighter is and i'll see you in the next video thank you